Hi, as of filming this, it's March 18th, 2024. Um, and I've now hit or surpassed 200 subscribers and a month of living on my own. So, let's see how a typical day in my life now looks like. And of course the first thing I did was to put on some clothes. As you can see the uh, little bedside light is turned on. Uh, this actually happens automatically thanks to a timer switch. Uh, Alec from Technology Connection actually made a very great video about how these work and how they've evolved. But basically in a modern timer switch uh, there are a set of buttons that you press in or pull out depending on the target time. And a wheel that you set the current time. And when that wheel hits a button that is pressed in, the device turns on. And when it hits a uh, button that is pulled out, it turns the output off. And here I am just walking to the communal kitchen to make some breakfast. Uh, normally I would also uh, wash my bread box up a little bit, but I did that for Sunday before I filmed, so. And after my breakfast, everything depends on the schedule. When I have to go at 8 o'clock in the morning, I just relax a little bit and depart at around 7 or something like that. Though, when I have a little bit more time, I usually devote that time to creativity. Here, for example, I'm uh, making some music in GarageBand. And here I'm working on some of the screens for the EAS scenario, The Unknown, uh, just after the first part of my GarageBand project was complete. And once again, just like the last one, the departure and setting aspect again differs from day to day. I'm not going to show too much of that here. We could already made a video about me going to Tilburg for a study day. Uh, you can s click here to watch that one if you want to. Um, for now, I just have a little cycling montage of me going from my home to the TOE. <laughs> And we're almost there in the neuron building of the TOE. Here I always first set up a locker when I arrive in the morning and then I go to the atrium or the study hall for some self-study. And whenever I have time left in the afternoon, unless it's a couple minutes, I also always do some self-study. In fact, as soon as I return from Tilburg to Eindhoven, I always first stop by the TOE for some self-study. However, just to be sure, a couple minutes before the first lesson, whether a lecture or tutorial begins, 
I always, always go as close to the classroom I have that lesson as possible. Um, and then relax somewhere. Uh, same thing I do in Tilburg when I have some buffer time left over. I always just relax a little bit and then I go to the classroom and I do my uh, self-study either in Eindhoven or in the break rooms there. Here I am at half past five about. Um, it's been a pretty nice study day. I didn't of course really film anything of the studies because of privacy reasons plus the fact that this varies greatly from day to day and from quarter to quarter. So it's time to return home and do everything else for the day. Of course every day has its special moments. For this Monday it was when I returned from university and entered into the supermarket to take another packet with me. My old keyboard had died and therefore I decided to get a new one, a Logitech K380. Unfortunately it does have the Mac layout but I can get used to that. And of course afterwards it's time to eat some dinner. I always, always, with very few exceptions when I eat out with someone, uh, cook for myself. And specifically every day that I do groceries and often also when I'm cooking, I always make sure that I have something left for two or three days. For this Monday, as well as the Sunday before and the Tuesday after, I decided to do something with tortillas and it ended up very yummy. Also, sorry I didn't really film the cooking process for safety reasons. Instead, I ended up like an influencer who showed a picture of their food. And after my dinner and a little bit of creative work and relaxation, I uh, work on Duolingo. Uh, I learned Spanish using that app and I use it for about 30 minutes per day. Afterwards, it's time to brush my teeth, take a shower, put on my pyjamas and... And that basically was last week, Monday. It was a fairly normal day. I tried to keep it as normal as possible, other than, you know, filming everything. Um, in which case, humans and times is pretty much the same thing as quantum particles. Things might have changed around just because I wanted to film or photograph them here. Also this keyboard I've ended up getting because the old one is damaged um, definitely deserves to be out on its own because it's a really nice keyboard. So I'll see you next time. Bye bye! I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.